The first boss of Dead Island 2 is picking between six playable characters, each with their own unique skills and story. And today we're gonna break down all six, their skills, their play style, and if they're the right choice for you. Oh, let's go. Let me know in the comments which of the six heroes you're picking. And first, let's talk broadly about the skill system and the characters in general. And, and really, does the choice matter? Now, not really. You know, you can start a new save file and pick a different character as you can't actually switch between the characters on the same save file. All six of the characters will have their own unique dialogue and conversations. And it has been said that each of the six characters were written by a different person. So there is a lot of validity to them all having their own personalities and feelings in the game as well. A little bit of replayability too, I guess. And the first Dead Island did have a unique skill tree for all of their playable characters. But in Dead Island 2, there is a skill card system, which is a bit more freedom as you'll find skill cards that you can then put onto your systems here, which aren't really restrictive based on the playable character. Though each of the characters has two innate or unique skills that can't be changed and will always be present. And there is also some of the skill cards that you might find throughout the world that will be unique to the specific character or even one or two specific characters. Now we'll quickly touch on these skill cards. So there is the ability cards which add abilities to your kit. So for example, say, you know, dodging or a ground slam. One thing that's really critical to think about here is that you can't dodge and block. You can't have both of those skill cards active. You only have one. So it's really important when we're talking about the characters in a little bit that you think about whether you want to play as a dodge style or a block style. You've also got survivor cards, which are like passive buffs to your ability cards as well as slayer cards which are similar to survivor cards but they give modifiers to those abilities like adding additional effects and then there's newman cards which we don't exactly know what do yet but they seem to be some sort of massive power attack thingy that we'll eventually learn when the game does come out we'll get into the heroes now and we're going to start with amy amy is a quick-witted paralympian who has found something even better than her runner's high zombie slam because of her paralympian nature she does seem to have a unique kick animation though i'm not sure if it has any additional effects her two Two innate abilities are Relief Pitcher, Amy gains stamina when hitting a zombie with a weapon throw, and Divide and Conquer, Amy gains a minor damage boost when she attacks isolated zombies. So because of that sort of style, Amy's really in sort of a dodge, fast, agile system that you probably want to be zooming around, spreading out the enemies, whether it be with a throwable to spread them out or blow them up because of the stamina gain that you do get, plus the extra damage boost you get from attacking isolated zombies. Bruno is next, but we don't talk about about Bruno. So Bruno is a calculating hustler who always has a plan both for pulling off heists on the big time scammers and spammers before the zompocalypse and for taking down the undead now. So Bruno's two innate abilities are rapid reprisal, boosts Bruno's agility and heavy attack charges when he avoids attacks with a block or a dodge, and backstab Bruno gets a moderate damage boost when attacking zombies from behind. So Bruno I think will see a lot of play in co-op play where you can have enemies say attacking your allies and then you can attack from behind because of that backstab ability that will become important in single player as well it's just obviously harder to backstab every zombie because they're always going to be attacking you but you know you can stealth behind them run up to them all of that sort of stuff but the other skill i think will see bruno have a bit of flexibility because of the buff from rapid reprisal on either block or dodge you don't have to necessarily pick one or the other and for heavy attacks which will be important for say a slower more like maybe not tanky maybe a little bit stealthy because of the behind damage, but you've got a bit of flexibility in terms of attacking from behind or from heavy attacks. Carla is next, and Carla is a motorcycle stunt rider unfazed by the rings of fire, jumps over ravines and mid-air flips, so the Zompocalypse has barely made her break a sweat. Carla's two innate abilities are Dig Deep, so Carla gets a moderate toughness boost while her health is critical, and Mosh Pit. Carla has a minor damage boost when close to multiple zombies. So Carla here fits really a tank playstyle. Because of Dig Deep, that moderate toughness boost when her health is at critical so you'll take less damage as well as you've got the minor damage boost when close to multiple zombies so you want to be in close and personal with all those zombies and swinging away with any sort of a weapon but Carla I wouldn't be suggesting to be sort of a ranged class you really want to be as close as possible getting the benefits from that minor damage bonus from having those melee attacks so if you're looking for some sort of a tanky melee build Carla is probably a good option for you. Danny hailing from the mosh pits of the county Kirk in Island, Danny is a headstrong rock ability brawler with a foul mouth and a twisted sense of humor. So her two abilities are Bloodlust and Thunderstruck. As a quick note, Thunderstruck 
Thunderstruck is actually called Thunderous in the actual official trailer. So I don't know if it's Thunderstruck or Thunderous, but Thunderstruck sounds cooler. Same with Jacob and Feral, or it could be Frenzy. I'm not sure why the name is different here. Bloodlust, Danny regains health when slaying multiple zombies in quick succession. And Thunderstruck, Danny's heavy attacks trigger a forceful explosion on impact. I actually think Danny is very similar to Carla, even in the way they're set up being the naming of say Carla's abilities, you know, Mosh Pit, etc., and then Danny having these Thunderstruck and sort of rock, rock sort of style play. They're, I think they're very similar and I think they're going to play very similarly as well. So with Bloodlust, right? So Danny regains health when slaying multiple enemies in quick succession. That's kind of tanky as well, plus Thunderstruck. So heavy attacks trigger a forceful explosion, allowing you to hit multiple enemies. For example, killing multiple enemies with that one impact and then regenerating health. So same sort of melee focus, health regenerative play play as Carla with Danny. I honestly had to check my notes to make sure that I had their skills around the right way. Like I thought Mosh Pit was Danny's skill because of the rock nature of her kit, but actually they're the other way around. But very similar in terms of their play style, but obviously a little bit different because of these different skills, but both melee focus sort of tanky brawlers. Jacob is next. Now he's the cover boy, the one you would have seen on the cover art for the game. And Jacob is an anti-hero with a rock star flair. Jacob's offbeat charm is paired with his reckless disregard for self-preservation. The two innate abilities. So first is Feral. Jacob gets a stackable minor damage boost when attacking in quick succession and critical gains. Jacob gets a moderate critical damage boost when his stamina is low and critical hits regain stamina. Jacob players are going to want to use some of the lighter, faster melee weapons in the game to get that feral off. So getting a stackable minor damage boost when attacking in quick succession, the faster you attack, the more likely you are to trigger that damage boost. Plus also having some sort of a critical focused build because of the damage boost you get when your stamina is low. So having critical damage as a plus for this character is important for Jacob plus using the light sort of weapon style and you'd probably be in a dodge sort of a format with Jacob you know say for Carla and Danny you'd be blocking more or less and Jacob's more of a dodge faster style character. Ryan might be last on our list but there's more to this exotic dancer than Ripple and Pex. Ryan has a stubborn streak a mile wide pessimistic sarcasm as dry as the Sahara and an indomitable heart. Ryan's first innate ability retaliation. Ryan gains moderate forced boost when using block or dodge to avoid an attack and the second is seesaw so ryan regains health each time he knocks down an enemy so you want to be knocking down enemies as much as possible with ryan and that leads to more of a melee focus as well same as dana and carla because you'd want to be trying to either whether it be kicking them or using a weapon to knock down enemies to get that little bit of health boost back and then when you're looking at all of the six heroes and trying to make that decision of which hero to pick now i mentioned earlier in the video to think about dodging and blocking as we go through these now you can choose when you're in the skill tree to pick either of these regardless of your hero choice but it's worth thinking about the type of play style that is different between dodging and blocking where blocking is probably more of a tank style something like a ryan or a carla or a danny probably fits that a little bit better whereas dodge would fit better with something like a jacob and amy or a bruno now this isn't a restrictive thing like i'm not saying you should go block if you're x and you should go dodge if you're y i'm really just trying to give you some examples around how the play styles for these six slayers will work and a way that you can make that distinction around what type of play you're going to be using because I know for myself I prefer to dodge than block in basically like every single game I've ever played in my entire life so I know that I'll be picking a character that kind of fits that sort of play style better and that I can get a bit more flow with dodge whereas you might be like nah I hate dodging I hate that dodge button I just want to stand there and tank all that damage and block everything and then you can play like that you know that's just the way that I'm trying to distinguish between these heroes but you've got that freedom of choice in the skill tree to change or even use both really because you can change your skills at any time so let me know in the comments which one of the six slayers you're picking thanks for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day